hello guys welcome back to another interesting and exciting video on my channel today i'll be sharing with you the top 10 richest kings in nigeria in 2023 the monarchy system is highly regarded in nigeria traditional rulers are seen as very influential figures in the society and also respected and dignified personalities by their citizens as a traditional ruler one must ensure they live an exemplary life and fully represent the cultures and traditions of his community so don't be surprised when you see some of these traditional rulers living in exotic flying in private jets and massive convoys with expensive cars most of them live on generational wealth gifts investment and many more so today i'll be giving you an insight on the top 10 richest kings in nigeria in 2023 their net worth cars mansions and many more before i continue if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe like and share and also turn on the notification bell icon so you can be notified whenever we drop new videos and remember we only drop interesting educating and exciting content you can also follow us on instagram as official cheesy media without any further delay let's get right into the video Number 10 on the list today is Benjamin Ikenchuku, the Dane of Abo. Benjamin Ikenchuku is a traditional ruler of Abo in Delta State, Nigeria. He holds the record as the youngest king in the world. He was crowned a king when he was just two years old following the death of his father. He entered the Guinness Book of Records as the youngest king in the whole world. After the death of his father, he was crowned but his uncle took over while he was sent to the UK for studies to prepare him for what lies ahead. On his return, he was appointed the vice chancellor of the University of Lorraine. He became the youngest chancellor in the institution. King Benjamin is the 10th richest king in Nigeria. He owns a lot of luxurious cars and expensive mansions, from the likes of Mercedes-Benz Maybach, worth 100 million naira, to a Rolls-Royce Phantom and many more. He has an estimated net worth of 5 billion naira. on the list today is Godfrey Emiko, the Olu of Ware. He is one of the richest kings in Nigeria. He was born on the 19th March 1955. He is the 20th Olu of Ware. He was crowned the Olu of Ware on the 12th December in 2015 after the death of his elder brother. Godfrey Emiko rules over the Niger Delta region and as the traditional ruler, he controls the oil and gas resources in those areas. While coordinating with the federal government, Godfrey Emiko prefers to keep his life private, but he is still regarded as one of the richest kings in Nigeria. He is the ninth richest king in Nigeria with an estimated net worth of 10 billion naira. Next on the list today is the Oba of Lagos, Oba Babatunde Akiolu. He is the 8th richest king in Nigeria. On the 9th August 2003, Akiolu was selected and crowned the 21st Oba of Lagos by the kingmakers of Lagos Traditional Kingdom. Before being crowned Oba, he served in the Nigerian police force for 32 years and retired in 2002 as an inspector general. There is no doubt as the Oba of Lagos being one of the richest kings in Nigeria since Lagos is the commercial center of entertainment and commercial businesses in Nigeria. Oba Akiolu owns a Rolls Royce and a Mercedes-Benz Maybach worth over 300 million naira. Oba Akiolu has an estimated net worth of 20 billion naira. Number 7 on the list today is Oba Lamidi Adeyemi, the Alafin of Uyo. The Uyo Kingdom is an historic kingdom in Nigeria. Since from the days of the colonial masters, the Alafin of Uyo is a position of great prestige and plays a significant role in the community with so much amazed wealth at his disposal. Oba Lamidi is one of the richest traditional rulers in Nigeria and he is married to 13 wives and over 300 and over 30 children, the Alafin Palace has over 200 buildings and he has been deemed a historic monument by the foreign and local experts. Obalamidi loves to live an exotic and luxurious lifestyle. He owns a limousine, a Rolls Royce Phantom and many more. He has an estimated net worth of 22 billion naira. Number 6 on the list today is Nnemeka Alfred Achebe, the Obi of Onitsha. Onitsha is the city known for business and trade, so there is no doubt if the Obi of Onitsha is the sixth richest traditional ruler in Nigeria. Nnemeka Alfred is one of the most prominent and respected monarchs in Nigeria, not just because of his status but also because of his achievement, achievement in business and in education. He was once a chancellor of the prestigious Amadou Bello University in Zaria and also served as an executive director of Shell Petroleum Development Company. The OP of Furniture has an estimated net worth of 22.5 billion naira.
left on the list is the Oba of Benin, Oba Iwari. He is the traditional ruler and the Oba of the historic and ancient Benin Kingdom. He is the fifth richest traditional ruler in Nigeria. The Benin Kingdom is a great historic kingdom which is remembered for their fight against the colonial masters. So, as the Oba of Benin, he wields an enormous deal of power, authority and influence. He is the 40th Oba of Benin. The historic palace is built to the standard of a world-class monarch. He has an estimated net worth of 24 billion naira. He is one of the richest traditional rulers in Nigeria. He owns a lot of exotic and luxurious cars from the likes of Rolls Royce to a Mercedes-Benz Maybach to a G-Wagon, a Range Rover and many more. Number 4 on the list today is the owner of Fife, Oba Adeyeye Ogunusi. Oba Adeyeye is not just a king, he is the owner of Fife, a position that has so much authority, respect and influence, not just in Nigeria but in the whole world. He is the fourth richest traditional ruler in Nigeria. He was born on the 17th October 1974, the 51st owner of Fife. In September 2022, he broke the internet when he married five beautiful maidens all at once. Oni of Ife is known for living a flamboyant and luxurious lifestyle. He owns a private jet ghost stream, a Rolls Royce Phantom, a Bentley and many more. He has an estimated net worth of 28 billion naira. Number 3 on the list today is Sanusi Lamidu, the former MI of Kanu. He was the former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria and also the third richest king in Nigeria. Sanus Lamido is no longer the MI of Kanu, but he is still regarded as one of the richest traditional rulers in Nigeria. His position as the governor of the CBA alone attracted a lot of national and international honors, wealth and recognition. He has a lot of assets, investments in agriculture, oil and gas and many more. Sanus Lamido owns a private jet, a Land Cruiser, a Bentley, a Mercedes-Benz Maybach and many more. He has an estimated net total of 32 billion naira. Two on the list today is Saidu Abubakar, the Sultan of Sokoto. He is the second richest traditional ruler in Nigeria. He controls the Sokoto Caliphate, making him the most powerful traditional ruler in the north and also the spiritual head of the Muslim in the whole Nigeria. On November 2006, Abubakar ascended the throne as the 20th Sultan of Sokoto following the death of his brother. Even though he prefers to keep his life private, he owns a private jet worth 10 billion naira and a Mercedes-Benz Maybach, Bulletproof, a Rolls Royce Phantom and many more. He has an estimated net worth of 40 billion naira. Number 1 on the list today is Oba Obateru, the Olugu of Ubo. He is the richest traditional ruler in Nigeria, the traditional head and ruler of Ubo Kingdom in Ondo State. Many people will be surprised on how he became the richest traditional ruler in Nigeria. Oba Obateru is not just a traditional ruler but also a successful and a rich businessman in oil and oil and gas magnet. He is the founder and owner of Obat Petroleum, one of the Nigeria's largest private health trading companies. He has a lot of luxury and expensive car such as a Bentley, a customized Rolls Royce, a Mercedes-Benz Brabus, Bulletproof and two private jets and a personal plane hangar. Oba Obateru is the richest king in Nigeria with an estimated net worth of 120 billion naira. Okay guys, drop a comment below, tell what you think about it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.